Today we are going to open a new acquisition. We purchased uh, a collection of materials related to Mary Andrews, who worked on women's suffrage in the state of Ohio. The headquarters was in Warren. And we've never seen anything like this before at the, the museum, and we're really excited to see these materials for the first time. Most of our donations don't come like this. This is very dramatic. <laughs> Mary Stewart Andrews herself is, is not well known, but the thing that's really interesting is about where she was from. Warren, Ohio is a small town in northeastern Ohio, and a lot of people outside of Ohio may never have heard of Warren. But it, there was a very prominent suffragist, Harriet Taylor Upton, who worked at the state and national level. She was the head of the Ohio Women's Suffrage Association and also held leadership roles in the National Women's Suffrage Association. So Mary Stewart Andrews, having been tied, you know, being from Warren, Ohio, she would have been tied to a very, very um, tight-knit community of suffragists. Let's see. This has the photo of Mary Andrews on the steps of the Ohio Women's Woman Suffrage Headquarters in Warren. It's the one in the middle. And then this is a letter that Carrie Chapman Catt wrote to Mary Andrews. Carrie Chapman Catt, she was very well known. This was her um, Warren High School commencement program. I don't want to pull it apart so we know more about it, but this will be a um, parade blouse, a lace parade blouse jacket, and two of uh, three parade sashes that were very common in suffrage parades. Now in Ohio they started per holding parades to promote women's suffrage in 1912, so it's likely that this piece dates to about 1912, but we can't know for sure. And women would wear pure white at the time, but over time it's aged and yellowed um, just a little bit. It's really pretty. Uh, we're really excited to have this collection at the Ohio History Connection because it's a collection from a woman who's from Ohio. She's from this small town, Warren, which was a hotbed of suffrage activity in the early 20th century. Um, and I think for us, we're coming up on the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage. And so we'll be doing some celebrations and it's great to have these pieces to be able to look back on how um, women over the course of time have um, fought for things that they believed in and um, they took to the streets and they marched and they protest and they talked to their elected officials and they did this um, for a lifetime, some of them. And uh, it's similar to the way that we um, try and enact change today. And so I think that it's really going to be, these are pieces that our, our visitors um, are really going to be able to connect to.